Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, this is another episode from the Amazon Review Series. Obviously I've got a, another package in today, obviously a small one here. Uh, this is just a nice little accessory piece that I ordered to uh, go along with some of the other things I've gotten recently. And uh, getting it out of the box here, just kind of tear right into it. Now uh, many of you will know basically what this is in terms of looking at it with the design and everything. Uh, if you're not sure, this is a Picanny rail, uh, or, or a Picatinny rail. I can never remember how you say that. I just call it a pick rail. Anyhow, uh, so that's what this top part is, but then you have a mount at the bottom. Uh, the difference with this mount, even though it looks like it would be something that would go on a pick or maybe a weaver rail, is the fact that this is only 11 millimeters. This is actually set up for something more uh, along the lines of air guns. Uh, I have a, uh, an air gun that uh, it has the little grooves marked in it to put some type of system on it. It actually came with a scope and the special uh, risers that hold the scope uh, that go directly on that. But uh, I wanted to give it some more versatility. I also didn't want to be locked down to just that scope or whatever. Uh, granted, it's an air rifle. I'm not going to be uh, doing a lot of necessarily tactical stuff with it, but I do want to have some versatility with it. Uh, I do plan on using it to do basically varmint hunting. It does come with a uh, a little Allen wrench there to tighten it down, and uh, I mean that's pretty pretty standard right there. The nice thing is, is it does also have this little screw at the top, uh, and this is a set screw. Uh, on these types of uh, guns on the barrel there, there is usually a little uh, knockout to basically get these set up so that when you put them on there um, and you fire the gun uh, or the rifle, it's not going to slide back uh, and you don't lose your sighting on whatever you're using, be it a scope, be it uh, a, uh, a red dot uh, or a reflex sight of some type or anything else that you may be using, maybe a laser. Um, so that is uh, that's really what that's for and uh, I am going to use it I actually do have the gun right here and that is this is actually a gamo now obviously you can't see the whole thing but you can see here at the top and you've got the two rails or the grooves right there and then you have that little notch right there which is exactly what that screws for so let's see about putting this on here so uh, what we'll do is we've got it on here we'll get it just basically finger tight and it's still loose enough that I can get it to slide along those rails, but it's on, it, it is on there. So it's not falling off in general. So now what I want to do is spin this down just a little bit until it touches. And then I want to kind of keep a little bit of pressure there. I found it. If I, if I keep a little pressure with the wrench and I slide it back and forth, I can find where that locking position is. Then I just screw it down a little bit until it doesn't feel like it's going to move anymore front to back. And then I want to go ahead and tighten the, side, the sides down here. And uh, kind of tighten one up a little bit, get a little bit snug, and then do the other one. And kind of do a back and forth thing, just like you do when you're uh, tightening down the lug nuts on a car. So uh, this is pretty, pretty snug. Get a little bit more. And we're almost there to where we want to be. You can see, you can hear it getting tight there. And there we go. That's pretty snug right there. So now what I'll do is I'll just take this, I'll tighten that down just a little bit more to make sure that it's nice and deep in there. And now this thing is mounted on there nice and tight. And so you can see this does have a long system. This is a shorter one. This is only about roughly three and a half, four inches long, close to four. Uh, and it's big enough that I can put on a scope or if I want to put on two maybe smaller things, maybe uh, a laser and a uh, reflex sight, for example, I actually have room where I could put two small ones on here. Or if I have the ones that have the adjustments, whatever. But anything that mounts to a, uh, a pick or a weaver rail will mount to this. 
So uh, there you go. If you guys want to check this out, it's going to be down there in the description below. Uh, I'll have a link to it to the Amazon site. Of course, while you're down there, don't forget to check out the social media. I've got uh, multiple links down there for that, as well as that PayPal link, which takes place at Patreon if you'd like to support the channel. And uh, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, as well as that ring that bell icon. It'll let you know when I've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, guys, my name's Cougar. This is another episode of the Amazon Review Series. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.